Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some did more. Did you just say? Did you just say tough turties instead of tough titties? I said tough titties, but it sounded like you said tough turties. I've already started now, and that was before the yeah, recording. People are gonna have no idea you... what what we're yeah, talking about. Just before about. you started recording, you said you said tough turties. I thought that I was like <laughs> his brain is rotting. It's infesting his every waking moment. My brain is infesting my every waking moment. Isn't that kind no, of what turtle, everyone is? <laughs> the turtle melon character. You know, if our brain's too smart, they'll become self-aware and take over our bodies. <laughs> oh, shit. But anyways, we're in Halloween. Look at this big old clown. He's cool. Vor. He, he angry. Vor. We're gonna go, go into in the, his god. Go in the clown mouth. Go, go in the, in the clown, clown mouth. mouth. His, wait a minute, wait a minute. His fat, wet, his fat, wet tongue. Oh god, why is it slide, fat? Slide down, slide down his, his tight, slippery throat. Mm, I'm not, not sure going to continue this. I'm not yeah, going to continue say, this. Not sure I about this. My, I was making myself uncomfortable. But yeah, anyways, sorry about no episode yesterday. Um, He's not sorry. I, I'm not really. I was playing the uh, Modern Warfare 2 campaign because it came out yesterday, and I got really sidetracked, and I ended up not doing anything I was supposed to. I was supposed to record an Isaac video. I was supposed to record a Gungeon video. And I was supposed to go to the gym. I did none of those things. What'd you start with? What did I start with? Yeah, your paradox. Genius. Oh shit! I was like, "What are you talking about?" Elemental force, noise, and frost armor, noise. Uh, yeah, Juice, item charge. And I can cool down on one. Hit. Decent enough. Decent enough. Not good, but not bad. Also, you might notice that Bullet Kid look a bit different. Uh, that's because I'm using Dallin's mod that was incredibly yeah, original. Um, it's, a, it's a mod by Dallin that is entirely Dallin's creation. No one else's. With no support from it. anyone I else. I love how they look in game. No, it's a, uh, it's a mod that he made based on, um, based on Nevername's idea to sort of change the palette up of Bullet Kid to make him a little bit sort of darker um, and like more... I don't know, more metal Warmer. looking. Uh, Warmer is the better way to say it, yeah. Um, I mean, that is the name of the mod. But it looks really good. It looks really good. You'll notice that they all look a bit different. It would be nice if they changed these as well, look. Because their hands are changed, but look, the lower body there isn't. Is a, there is a problem with red and blue shotgun pins specifically that makes them nigh impossible to recolor. Oh, really? They don't have different sprites. The red and blue ones, you mean? Yes. Oh, they're just recolors of each other. For that one enemy, Dodge Roll did not give it unique sprites. They made a color change shader, and they both used the exact shapes, the exact same sprites with a different shader. So, and the reason why it's difficult to recolor them is because the shader fucks with any color changes you make. Would it not just be easier to remake the sprite entirely? Well, yeah, but you can't do that with a simple recolor mod, which is what this is. That's true. You'd need to use code for that. But, yeah, for some reason, you know, it's it's just one of those quirks of Gungeon. For some reason, even though there's only two of them, there is <laughs> no practical reason for the, doing it this way. It's like, not like it saves it, any resources. I, I feel like it's one of those things that they did to, um... They did to like be like, oh, we could use this in the future if we make more colors of them, and then just never did. Yeah, well, they made like green shotgun kin, but then they decided they wanted to give them a mask, and then they made like other stuff, and they made like and they made like thing and the stuff. They did quite but, a lot of thing and stuff. But yeah, they are the only enemy in the game that does that. That's very that's, very strange. That's actually. That's actually why, if you remember on the RNG department, there's this one shotgun kin enemy, the Whip. And when he dies, his corpse turns red. Yes. Or completely red. Yes. That is because he uses the corpse sprite of a of a normal shotgun kin. He, he uses all his other sprites are like a real proper sprites. He reuses the corpse sprite, the shotgun kin. But because he doesn't have the color shader, you see it without the color shader, which just looks very red. Is this a reference to, um, to 
to Protato, because it's a Cacti Club in that game, too. Yes. Yes, it is. Nice. I think Spoppy is considering, like, doesn't it swing now in Brotato? It does. It used, it used to just lunge, but I think it got updated to swing, and I remember Spoppy being mad because he would have to recode the weapon. I can't get this guy because he's behind a barrier. This isn't really fair. Okay, there you go. I love the sounds they make. Yeah, me too. The music they make. Ow. Yeah. Fucking idiot. I thought um, it I thought the despaired already. But yeah, that, that's one place that you can see the shader just not working. Yeah. Because it, it's not applied to that enemy. Dungeon Doobie it's, Box. It's, it's just such a strange oversight. And also, for some ungodly reason, veteran Bulletkin use a color shader as well. Despite there not being any variants of them. <laughs> That's really strange. Very specific to the yeah. shotgun type enemies. Veteran Bulletkin. <laughs> weird. Very, very weird. If if you look at the veteran Bulletkin sprites, they're all bright red. Because instead of just brighting it, they sprouted it in a different fucking and they used the color shader and I don't know why they didn't just use the color in the first place <laughs> does it hurt you deeply it does it does hurt me I'm in pain it's <laughs> got them Gungeon's Curse so at the minute if you're wondering Nevernames having a a sort of brief mental breakdown about Curd, because he's been trying to fix his inscription mod. Um so he just released. And it's not been going too great. Oh yeah, shit's breaking for the fucking reason because I live to suffer and God is punishing me for my disbelief. <laughs> what was it that you sent me earlier? I wrote a little lament in the inscription modding server. Code is a cruel mistress. And she has no warm bosom into which to, into which to collapse once she leaves me bleeding and bruised. No matter how much she hurts me, I know I'll always come back. She makes a runtime injection to my veins and iterates through every artery. She brands her co-routines upon my skin. I am bound in chains of circular methods and obfuscating logic. One day I will decompile. The bit rot on my bones, gnawed at by the bugs. This is my lament. And that was just a genuine reaction I had to just shit not working for the sixth time and just not <laughs> knowing what to say. I just sort of decided, I'm just going to write a poem. That's a fair response. Gun muncher. For some reason it, it became BDSM related. <laughs> I like the way you got oh, rhymes to buzz them in there. What like what's 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 a poem without a reference to a bosom? It's perfect <laughs> symbol symbolism. Like unironically, people reference like use bosom as a form of symbolism a little bit a little bit too much. It's like all the poets. I'm not gonna finish that sentence. <laughs> um, uh, I'm trying to think of all the stuff that, like shitty in Gungeon's code that makes me want to fucking scream. Probably everything. What the hell's this? Coupon. Oh, Entitles you to one free item at. Um, it's a glitch. What's a glitch? Once we're into the breach, and oddments both add an item called the coupon. And they break each other for some fucking reason that neither one of us know. What's the what's the bug? Like, how does it break? So, the item you just picked up, coupon, 1000th Lucky Gungeoneer, the description and short description are both from my item, but that's Blazy's item. Uh. Okay. Ooh, shock rounds would be nice. It would be nice, but you're not going to get it. I, I 
don't know. I could I could get that money off of uh of, of the big jelly boy or the mushroom boy. Off of a dead man's corpse. Really? That cursed enemy had to hit me, didn't they? You're not getting the money. Um Yeah, so the thing, the difference between in script, sorry, I, I probably sound really nasally at the moment. I have had really bad sinusitis. Sinusitis? What the hell's that? Uh, it's where, like, your everything sort of inflames a little bit. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound like, fun. All the, tu all the tubes in your head get really, like, narrow. And it's, it's horrible. The goddamn head it's tubes like a, aren't working. It, I, I think it... I don't remember exactly what causes it, but it, ru it, it runs in the family because uh, everyone on my mother's side of the family has fucked up sinuses, and I hate it. Well, I got a synergy for this that was called Sentry Going Up, so I assumed it was going to create a Sentry when I killed things or something. But it just turns out it's given it in insane herming. What's the bet it's just broken? <laughs> Maybe. I got it. I I hate having like shitty sinuses. Yeah, because... it's it's fucking awful. Because it's such a minor oh fuck sake. It's such a minor thing. Like, it feels minor, but it's also such an annoyance. My thing is that your sinuses take up 90% of the inside of your head, it feels like. There's mm. no brain in there, it's just it's just nose tubes. <laughs> and so when you have like I, uh, I told you you'd make me yawn you fucker <laughs> that was well, ages ago had... yeah but was it before we started recording yeah it was oh well no context fuck you um yeah so your everything in your head goes gunky when your sinuses fuck up your ears get itchy. My teeth wind up hurting. Your teeth? I've never had it with my teeth, but I, d I do get it's like everything in your head just feels wrong. I know that. But I've never had it feel in my teeth. Yeah, Does anyone else get, feel like, their sinuses really, in their teeth? When I get really bad sinus pressure, my teeth on that half of my face start hurting intensely. That's very strange. I don't know many. I don't think many people get that. They do. They just don't tell you. They always wait till you've left. <laughs> some some big conspiracy to keep from me. Exactly. But the the difference that I was saying between coding and inscription versus Gungeon is that inscription has a lot better code, but it is. Uh, it's very precise and it demands a lot. Mm. Whereas in Inscription, if you make a mistake, the game just fucking locks up. It doesn't because... just it doesn't just throw a random error in the console and lag you a bit, it just dies. Yeah, the game The game relies on itself being a continuous flow. Mm. Which is because it's it's a card game, and multiple effects happening at once in a card game can cause a lot of issues. I mean, and it's also pretty oh. narrative, right? I'm not even talking like story events, I mean everything. From the most basic thing like, card attacked here, card died. It all happens in order, in a, in a flow. Things do not happen simultaneously, basically. Makes because sense. in a card game, oh, fuck's sake. In, in a card game, multiple things happening oh, simultaneously. Oh, just sorry, but I, my fucking stupid gun keeps herming onto these stupid bastards because they count as enemies when they're fucking not. Fuck's sake! Stop so you, doing that. So you, so you pulled out the other homing weapon. Yes. Stop fucking herming in on enemies that aren't fucking enemies. You stupid gun. It's not an enemy. Stop. Was that gun? Dead eyes handgun. Let's give it a go. But yeah, basically. Um, okay, this thing's I don't know very weak is. to start with. 
It said accuracy rewards sort of power, so I'm oh, imagining it just be fucking dead eye. Just scales, um, considering, yeah. Anyways, yeah. In inscription, things wait for everything else to finish before they start. So it's all like one after the other after the other. It's one continuous flow. Uh, which means that if something breaks that flow, the whole game stops. Yeah. Meaning that you can't really fuck up in inscription. You can't make errors. Whereas Gungeon has a lot more... It's coded a lot worse, but it has a lot more leeway for what you're allowed to fuck up on. So you're having to be a much better coder in this game. Yeah. You actually fought the boss. I'm proud of you. I did, and I got a black chest for it. Oh, boy. What's this? Head of the Order. Um, but torn from the rest of its corporeal form, the immortal soul of the High Priest remains bound to this weapon. Ooh. It's the High Priest's head. Nice. That's gonna it be my boss killer. Flight. It gives you flight well held. Oh yeah, I see that. That's pretty cool, I like that. But yeah, more about your inscription pin. <laughs> yeah. So, I've been having this issue with uh, trying to stop a card from dropping bones. And it just broke the game for no reason when it was working last time I fucking checked. <laughs> it just decided to I don't stop know. working. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no I idea. Know. I don't know. That's all you say all while you're coding. You just don't know. That's, that's <laughs> the only thing you can say to it. I've also been playing Cuphead recently, which made me uh, playing what? less mad. Cuphead. A Cuphead. I thought it was a Cophead. I was like, what the hell is Cophead? Cophead. You know that Cuphead spinoff where he goes around harassing minorities? <laughs> um. Yeah, so... I've been... I finished off the delicious last course, which, now that I say it, is a funny sentence. Um... <laughs> oh, is that the, the DLC? But, yes. That's what it stands for. Delicious last course. Nice. Um... Because I hadn't done that, because when it came out, I didn't have access to it. Or I did, but it was on a shitty laptop that couldn't run yeah, up yeah. very well. Uh... And I just sort of got sidetracked. But now I, I finished off the, the, the DLC, and I'm sort of trying to go for uh, go for a little, a little shippy shippy. Why did I, why did my brain default to that when I was trying to say like going for achievements? <laughs> no idea. That was rather bizarre. Listen, man, it's been a long day. I don't know what the little shippy shippy is. You know, you ever you ever. Gotten home after a long day and done the old shippy shoppy. Shippy shoppy. But you haven't um, gotten home after a long day. You just had a long day inside. Don't call me out like that. So did you. <laughs> we don't like the outdoors. Yeah. We don't like the outdoors. It's dangerous out there. You could get hit by a falling piano at any moment. I'm gonna say there's people out there. It's weird. Yeah, and there's pianos too. Exactly. Would you believe that there are bagpipes in the outside world? Like, people actually listen to those? Just excruciatingly horrible music in every way, shape, and form. Yeah, like, I was going by the uh, the funeral home a couple weeks ago, and they were playing bagpipe music, and I, I was very tempted to stop and scream, get some better music for your funeral, dipshit. <laughs> I'm sure they would have appreciated that. Lightweight armor. Good for nimble movement, but makes it much harder for engineers to keep their footing. Don't know what that means. What does that mean? Give you fucking it's, ice it's, physics? It's definitely... No? It's, it's definitely increased my speed a lot, and um, 
increase my roll. But I don't know how putting on lightweight armor would make you faster, but I'm not going to question the logic of Gungeon. Yeah, I, I went from being completely naked to wearing lightweight armor so I can move faster now. Put on some lightweight armor so I could see faster. <laughs> um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, the little shippy shop. I've been going for the achievements in in Cuphead, and some of them are devilish. Some I've had a few from a kind of painful, deep. yeah. But I'm just trying to get through the game. I've got to. I think I've got to beat all the. Um, Bosses on Equal Isle 4 with uh, A plus rank or above. And that's uh, rough because I suck at them. Because <laughs> they're the, the hardest bosses in the game. The DLC bosses. Yeah, I imagine the, the DLCs. It's, it's like with um, with Doom Eternal. Like, that when I played that game, the, the, the game itself is hard, but the DLC is another fucking level. Oh my god. It's as if the entire game is a tutorial for the DLC. Like Portal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, it's, it's tricky. And, you know, Chalice with the, uh, with the crack shot can only get you so far. I don't know what any it's of those things are. mean nothing to you, yeah. I'll have to get you to play Cuphead. I gotta say, it seems like a game I'll enjoy. The, uh, tacit confirmation. That is a, a very, very light confirmation. It's a confirmation of I will play it at some point. It does not done it to when. On your deathbed. <laughs> yeah. Um, God, can you imagine that, though, like, it would make a perfect thumbnail, like a melon cup with a straw coming out of it? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, yeah. Like a, a watermelon smoothie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Gold Guan Stone, chance to drop casings when it gets hit. Nice. Got some good on-hit effects, I just need an active item to go along with them. It's not when you get hit, it's when the Guan gets hit. Oh, okay, that's, that's even better. Yeah, see, it's still there, it's gorgeous. Oh god, it turns them grey. <laughs> Beauty of nature. Ah, there was a key dude somewhere. Where? Fuck you, damn it. He was in the corner here. Point, it, point him out to me. I can't, Show he's gone. Me any evidence of his existence. The sound he made. If you cannot prove it, that could have, that was just you using ventriloquism. That word took way too long to pop into my head. <laughs> I am a bit out of it right now. How tired are you right now? Oh, I'm not like ravenously tired, but I'm tired enough to use words like ravenously to describe <laughs> my level of tiredness, if that helps. That makes sense. Oh, God. I'm tired. I'm tired enough where that sentence made sense to me. I think it made um, enough sense. It made it made sense for a tired man. I'm not ravenously tired. I, I'm just like once I stop, I'm going to bed. <laughs> but we're not going to stop for a while. I'm going to keep you up forever. Oh God! I had a dollar every time I heard that. Six more videos to go today. Oh. Well, how come you never do this on a day where I want to do videos with you? <laughs> how come, how come, how come it's always when I don't want it, you want it? And how come when, when I... I don't know where I was going with that. My brain just, like, cleared the registry halfway through a sentence. I hate it when that happens, where you're, like, halfway through a sentence and you're just like, what the fuck am I on about? See, I don't, like, sometimes I feel like I'm funnier when I'm tired. And I don't know if that's just because my standards for what is funny yeah, it's lower definitely when I'm that. tired. It's definitely that. So I'm being, so I'm not funny. No, 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 I'm that's not, not and that's not what I'm saying, but I'm saying that, like, you, the, the main reason you'll be thinking it is because your brain is telling you that you're funnier because you're not able to think as clearly. Yeah, it's like thinking through mud, which is, like, 30% worse than thinking through the, like, salt water I usually do.
speed. Actually, that's a question. Does your speed. brain float in, in fresh water or salt water? I'm gonna guess fresh water, right? Well, because, like, no, because, like... It's not really fresh. It's not really water, is well, it? Like, people are pretty salty. People are pretty salty, I guess. No, not, like, in a metaphorical sense, in a literal sense. You can get a bit of sodium out of it. Like, you could probably... What the like, fuck is it. this weapon? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, one of Sparpy's lob shots. <laughs> it's the literally impossible to use. It's cool, but how the fuck do you hit anything with it? It's it's supposed to go to your cursor. I don't know how it works without one. Oh, I hit that guy. Yeah, I'm guessing it just doesn't work on the controller. Sparky, please fix. I've got a bunch of just dog shit weaponry right now. The cat, the cacti club is too, it's too close range. This is too limited ammo. This just doesn't work in controller. Um, these two are the only good ones that are always out of ammo. And the dead eye thing seems like it sucks. Like I you guess, got, I guess if you dude, hit a lot of shots. Budget, we've got the budget revolver. You'll be fine. Uh, a weak handgun fitted with a small printer for coins. Charge up to expel a coin. Oh. Oh, so it's an ultra kill reference, of course. That makes more sense now. I should have read that earlier. Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I was hoping You're, it would, though. It's, it's an ultra kill reference. You need to shoot the coin. I need to shoot the coin? How the fuck yes. do I do that? I don't know. Try it. I can't. It doesn't work. Stop, Stop shoot, following me, these stupid, stupid shots. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm just gonna not bother. I think it's an ultra kill reference anyway. Is an ultra kill does a mechanic where you like empty your wallet and throw it in the air and like scream muzzle cough and all the enemies die or something. I don't know. I don't play the game. Okay. What even happened in this back, room? Back this to is a tragedy. Back to actually having ammo. Back to herming on enemies that don't actually. That this is actually the enemies. time my brother's friend put salt in his tea. Oh fuck, that sounds horrible. Yeah, he deserved it. It was funny. Oh my god, he, I'm struggling. I would like to point out those statements are, are related. He deserved it solely because I find it funny. <laughs> it's kind of how I treat you. Deserved it for the humor of the situation. That is all. Um, uh, just wondering what I'm gonna do next with Dungeon once I wake up to tomorrow morning and spend the whole day working on stuff again. Who knows? I made Gerate from TF2. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Just make more TF2 couple... stuff. Uh, I have a couple things planned. Just, it's, it's low-hanging fruit and people will always like it because TF2 is the most popular game of all time. Don't look it up. It's one of. It's one of the most well-known games. It's one of the games of all time. It is definitely. That that meme has been going around so much recently. Like, any time I look at any trailer, any game, anything, like, this is one of the mods of all time. This is one of the games of all time. This is one of the movies of all time. It's like, yeah. We get it. We get the meme, that's guys. The, that's, the, that's the joke, is that it's stupid. And if you think it's stupid, you're letting them win. Humor nowadays. Yep. It's all... Bunch of tosh. You're an old man. I am. An old man. Things old that man. are funny nowadays to to these kids. I don't understand them. Raised on a, I bet you were raised on a fucking Nokia brick foldout phone. You played with the Notes app. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think that was you, sir. He's lying. This is libelous slander. <laughs> he was literally telling me about him doing this earlier today. No, I wasn't. <laughs> no, you no, can't I wasn't. just him no. <laughs> no, he's lying. I can very minus easily helmet. claim. No. Is that a minus helmet? It looks like a fucking... It doesn't look line. like a minus helmet at all, does it? <laughs> Get a random gun every floor. Ooh, that's good. Oh, look, it looks like a rotten line. A rotten line. That's a very rotten line. God damn. I mean, when things rot, they sometimes go black like corpses. 
<laughs> Corpses and limes, they both share that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> lime, like, limes are just corpses of the lime. <laughs> lime flesh. You got the riot gun. I cut, I, I cut them to watch them bleed. Why do we keep getting such dog shit weaponry? Hex gun, go. I mean, uh, hex gun is one of my favorite room clearers. He hex gun is is incredible, yeah. Everything else we have is kind of dookie. Um, technically, it's hexagon. Hexagon? Hmm. Hmm. Hexagon. Gotta be proper about my speech. I've had this yeah. one person in my um, in my uh, Isaac comments recently that has been backseating the hell out of me, <laughs> and I, every it? time I read something, I'm like, the, it's always com <laughs> it's not you. But every time I read comments, it's just like you didn't read this right. It's like yeah, I fucking know. I don't care. I have a name. <laughs> um, when I was like 16, you know the the old thing of. It's old by now, but like when the, the the teacher puts on the Kahoot quiz, which is Ooh, pass yes. your time because you're old. No, I played Kahoot in a classroom setting. Yes, we played at university many a time. Uh, I would, I would, for some reason, I was trying to think. I would think of a name, and I, I would put Hexagon as my name as a reference to Gungeon. Just, just in case anyone else got it. No, not in case anyone else got it. Just because I got it and I liked it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What? Hello. Hello. I actually waved. I actually waved at my screen when I said that. I don't know why. <laughs> you are very tired. Oh, I just pulls them in. I was hoping it would like ascend them like upwards. I was hoping it would just... uh, transmog them into tractors. So. Fuck. Fuck. Have, uh, can you change the, the capture mid-like recording? Change the what? The capture, mid-recording. What capture? What? OBS, what do you mean? dumb shit. Like, what, what, do, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I want to show you something. Show, show me you what? I want to be in the video. Uh, da -da -da. This, this post by Bunny in the Discord. You, could, you don't have to show it, but I think it would be funny if you did. Just this video? Yeah. What is it? Just watch it. I tr trust me, it's it's fine. Well, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to screen it first. Oh my god, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll show that. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy posted this and it's the best thing I've ever seen. Um... Oh, fucking... What's it? OBS isn't working, so... I guess not. OBS is... You'll have to edit this video. No, I won't. Um... Ah, oh, fuck you. Window capture Go. isn't working. Oh, good. I'm oh, sorry, people. Yeah. This was hilarious. I kind of want to show you this, but... Go to the, uh, Mod oh, the Gungeon whoa, 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 whoa. Discord. No, no, no. S sorry. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. There you go. I've got it working. I've got it working. Watch this, people. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I don't know, he refused to elaborate. The very next message is in other news. I won't explain myself. <laughs> is that it? Oh my god, what the yeah. hell? He it just, just ascends. He just posted that. He just posted that with no context. And I love it. And I wish the tractor beam did that to enemies. <laughs> <laughs> but turned them into those 3D models as well. Not necessarily, but like... <laughs> I think, oh, I we're think back. Could. That'd be funny. No, I, I definitely think you should turn things into tractors. I think that'd be better. Make sure you double check that you got the capture right because I don't want to waste this. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. It's, it works. Do you know and, why uh, I was confused? Because at first what? I thought you meant um, capture, like as in like the thing that you have to type out to prove you're not a robot. Oh my fucking And I'm God. like, what the fuck, Chin? I get, it, I, what? I get it, your brain is tiny, but it's not that tiny, come on. I was like, what are you on about? How the hell do I change? What do you mean? Jesus Christ, I could fit the entirety of your brain on half a graham cracker. Indeed you could. I don't know, I don't, I have never eaten a graham cracker, but for some reason that was the crack, the one cracker type I could think of. 
Jacob's crackers are better. Who, who's Jacob? It's a brand in the UK. Actually, it's a brand. I don't know if it's a brand in America as well, but it's definitely in the UK. Jacob's crackers. How much are they? They how bang. Much are they paying you? Oh, not enough. But some. But some, yeah. And yeah, by that, you know, by that, what they, I mean is, I go into the store. I, I go into the store and I buy a packet of Jacobs, um, <laughs> and that's my payment. Me, me purchasing them with my own money. And you put and you slap some Wensleydale on it. Ooh, yes. Bit, bit of strong cheddar. A little bit of butter. I've never heard Wensleydale either. Wensley? Are you fucking kidding me? I just got pushed into a pit. Wensleydale's pretty nice. It's, it's. If I remember, is it, isn't it quite crumbly? I haven't had it in a long while. Fucking stop so, pushing me, you shitheads! You know the, you know the thing with, with Wensleydale, right? Do you know the thing with Wensleydale? You I do. You know. I don't. I don't know what you're referring to right now. Wallace and Gromit. Oh yes, yes, of course. They single-handedly saved that entire type of cheese. <laughs> like the like one of the last places that actually was doing Wensleydale was going to close down. Nobody wanted to eat Wensleydale because apparently it's like ass. It's not. It's pretty good. But uh, some people like eating ass. But like, Wallace and Gromit apparently single-handedly saved it. <laughs> I did but not yeah, know like, that. I, I wish the tractor beam when it like killed an enemy or something. It made a beam of light, and the enemy sprite just ascended, <laughs> like got abducted and and faded out of view. Like, they got abducted out of the room. That would be amazing. That would make me so happy. I would like that very we've much seen so. One of these, we've seen one of these sucky enemies, like, every room. So, yeah, there have been a lot of them, hasn't there? Oh my god, I'm getting hit yeah. so much. Recently, I don't know if you've been watching my Isaac Stop series it. at all, but I've been playing horrendously in every game that I play. Is this room in Among Us? Yes, it is. <laughs> is it intentionally in Among Us? I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. That looks very much like it is. I don't think... Yeah, no, it's clearly a bunny room. I don't think bunny could possibly miss such a magnificent Among Us. Um... But yeah, no, your videos are steadily declining. You fell off, man. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have been playing horrendously. Like, I've been trying my best to get, like, an Isaac win streak going, and I haven't won any more than one video in a row in a long while. I also keep having a lot of really weird technical issues. Like, really weird. Like, I had, in the video that went up yesterday, I uploaded a golem video. And it ended by me entering the, um, the, the golem watched, yeah. shop. And the game just slowing down to like point, point 0.1 FPS and then crashing and then not being able to reload. And then another video, which is I think the next one I'm going to upload. Um, the next one that I'm going to upload is I get a oh, massive shadow. weird shader graphical glitch where my entire screen goes like, ha like I get like a massive line through the middle of my screen where it goes half black. That's my favorite kind. It's just bizarre. I managed to f somewhat fix it, and then I found out what mod was causing it, and then that mod got updated and fixed it. But yeah, it was very weird. Um, I've been getting some very, very strange bugs. And cr the game's been crashing an awful lot. I love bugs. I love bugs. Um, to be fair, it might be due to the fact that I initially had 59 mods on my series, and then I added another 65. Might be something to do with it, but hey ho. I enjoy the mods. You've added another four. Basically, I had I had a list of mods that I'd like. These are mods that I'd like to use if the game didn't lag so much. And I was just like, fuck it. I'm just gonna deal with the lag and use the mods, because I wanna show them off. But now I'm just using all the mods I wanna I use. I mean that's that's the the whole reason why you did this. Whole reason like, why I don't care that, I don't care that the game sucks. And now with all the mods, I like it this way. <laughs> Pretty much. I also just think people enjoy the video, even though there's a higher chance of crashes and runs ending like that. People enjoy seeing more. Like, if it's called a mega modded series, people like seeing more mods. Yeah, my 
so I, I have been talking a lot about inscription. I have been thinking more and more like, I wish I could get inscription to a point where it's like, I make a ton of different, like, card packs for different, like, games and media, and just put them all on at once, and it's just this horrendous <laughs> fucking battle royale. Just of, amalgamation of everything, in ima like, imaginable, yeah. Yeah, just anything and everything, just constantly. It's like, oh, it's the fucking... It's Elder Bug from Hollow Knight <laughs> versus yeah. fucking a frowning gaper. That'd be kind of funny. Wish, is the, I um, wish, like, I what's the modern community like, like in Inscription? Is it still going strong or has it died off quite a bit? It's kind, of, it's kind of slow, but it's still there. It's mainly just that a lot of the people who actually know how to program were left. Ah, fair. But it's there. Like, the, there's this one YouTuber, uh, Sift. Yeah, yeah. Sif, uh, who was doing modern inscription content for a time, and he moved on from it, and that really put a dent in the community. Knew it. Never trust it. Never trust it. It's is Sif the guy that does like a bunch of brotato now? Yeah, he does. He does some. Yeah. S I F D. Yeah, yeah. He did. He he did a bunch of peglin as well, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. see. I see him quite yeah. a lot in my recommendeds. Somehow that sounded like an insult the way you said it. No, no. It's it, like I've watched a few of his videos. They're not. Uh, they're not really my style of videos, so I don't watch a ton of them. Um, but but they're the same it's... style of video as yours. Yeah. But I'm also mean in terms of like the amount of time to watch them. Like I like, them. I see, I, I, I did create a, bit, a pretty weird problem for myself. I enjoy the long form videos that I create and that's, uh, that's why I started creating the way I do. But in doing that, I've now created such a problem where I don't really have time to watch those sort of videos anymore. <laughs> Like, I, I normally get to watch, like, maybe one before bed, but most of the time when I watch stuff in bed, Katie wants to watch two, and most of those sort of videos, Katie doesn't want to watch, so I don't really get to watch them. No, oh, babe, please. Please, it's Brotato. Please. <laughs> you don't understand. The synergy in the thumbnail looks so cool. Look, it's fucking three in the morning. What are you talking about? <laughs> Pretty much. Exactly that. That. Ooh, helix bullets. Yes, please. This is this is terrible. I hate it. It's gonna die. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna come out through the screen. Put its lips on my ear and scream. Hmm. No, thank you. Yeah. Well, how do you think I feel? I'm the one experiencing it. <laughs> um. But yeah, see, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Like, I want to say Sith. But that sounds like too similar to the word sift. It's yeah, sift I, I get it though. I get it. <laughs> and, and 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 he some and he has an accent. That he says like sift, and so sift. sometimes I accidentally say sift. Uh, but yeah, he was a part of the inscription modding community for a while, but he sort of moved on. Yeah, I think I, I gotta say, especially as a YouTuber, you kind of go with where the trends take you. So I imagine for him. It, like, the videos weren't as lucrative anymore, there was new games coming out. Just makes sense to move on, doesn't it? Also, Sif, like, got in a fight with a couple people in the modding community. It wasn't, like, anything major. Oh, remember you telling like, me a little bit about that, yeah. Yeah, it was just, it was just a stupid argument. Like, people were, like, Sif wasn't fully understanding something and he was insulting it based on a, a misinterpretation of how it functioned. Hmm. And obviously, I'm guessing and that pissed off the modder. At the same time, uh, modders didn't understand that when a YouTuber says, this is trash, this is hot garbage, that is uh, hyperbole. <laughs> and that means this is not applicable to my current build. It, it, I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, but they don't... But like people weren't understanding that, and Sift would be like, 
I'm not taking this card. This card is this, this card is trash. Uh, why would you give me this trash? That's like people were taking that way too personally. Yeah, yeah. So there were a couple arguments. I don't know if that contributed to him leaving, but I doubt it made him very happy. Yeah, Why'd that's you do fair. that. Because I forgot that you need a key to fucking use them. I always think it will be unlocked and then not, and it makes me sad. Bitch. Weezer! Oh, we Lovely. Let's do the boss. Apparent apparently, like, June... I don't know if this is 100% correct, but I don't think June even, like, likes Weezer. Uh, just, is I think it, wasn't it just a, a meme at the just, time? It's a, it's a reference to, um, a Minecraft mod called, like, T -con Tinker's Construct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In which Weezer is a construction material. Yeah, I've seen a few of the Minecraft memes about it. Never listen to anything. But people talk about these like meme Ooh, bands. That's like, very cool. People talk about meme bands like, oh, it's it's Weezer, and it is, oh, it is my favorite band, this, that, and the other. And it's like, like they're probably uh, shit posting. I've never listened to anything like that. I've never listened I've, to anything. <laughs> I've I'm deaf. I've never listened to anything. The only songs, the only like. And songs I've listened to uh, involuntarily are Nickelback because one of my dad's friends really likes Nickelback, and uh, we were invited to something and he just had Nickelback playing. Nickelbacks are everywhere. That's why it became so hated. I watched a video recently about like how they got such a bad reputation. It's pretty interesting. Okay, Basic. Scoodly dort. What? What? What did you just say? What? Scoodly dort. What the fuck's that? What are you talking about? I don't know. It's all a mystery. I wish I was better at improv. I wish I was better at improv. Co no, you get in that fucking hole right now, young man. How dare you. <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted to spend time with you and you ruined you, it. You, we're doing another video after this, you bellens. Oh, yes. We're still doing that. <laughs> yeah. As long as you're okay so with long, it. I thought we talked for so long about the fucking musket wars that uh, we didn't have time. No, no, I thought I thought that time. I do have to go and eat first though. As long as you can stay awake for that long. Uh, I have to go. I have to go back to Subway because yesterday I went to Subway and forgot all my money. <laughs> and I, I ordered a sandwich and they handed me it and I was like, I can't pay for this. And they're like, that's okay. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> There are going to be police waiting for you at that, at that somewhere. <laughs> I literally like pulled up. So I'd, I'd been basically buying something on Amazon for my mum's birthday because I'm going to see her this weekend. And I left my card on my desk. So I took my wallet and went out without my card in it. And there was no cash in my wallet either. Apart from like a five euro note, which obviously I couldn't use. Um, and yeah, so I was just like, um, I know you've you, made you the just... sandwich already, but I can't pay for it. And they were like, you, you I, I was like... Them... <laughs> You hand them the euro and they say, sir, this isn't, like, legal tender. Like, <laughs> yeah. Does that look like it's my problem? Take it up with the government. <laughs> go swap it. Go exchange it. Easy. But yeah, I was just kind of like, um, I can go back and get my money if you want. I'm not that far away. And they were like, no, just take the sandwich and come back tomorrow. So I have to go to Subway today to pay them. But I'll also buy my lunch while I'm there, so. Make sure to take money for the lunch. I don't think I, I, I will. Like, <laughs> just keep going in and add this debt. <laughs> subsist on like a subway pay later scheme. <laughs> uh, that's funny. You, you move away and you've got like a subway debt following you for like 700 pounds. <laughs> yeah, and if you don't pay it, they send like a subway hitman after you. He's like, he pulls out like a, a uh. meatball sandwich holstered like a sniper rifle. He looks it's down just, the barrel no, 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 it's just, and squirts you with it. It's just like a foot-long sandwich with a lead pipe in the middle of it. <laughs> it's the... No, the sandwich is the silencer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> oh, they just, like, come to you in the sleep and instead of, like, putting a pillow over your head, they just put, like, a foot-long sandwich over your mouth and nose. <laughs> it's brilliant. Oh, that's so funny.
Oh my god. Anyways, we're gonna end the video up here. Uh, Nevernames gonna be joining me mascot. for Nuclear Corona as well. So if you wanna the what? The mascot? Yeah. Yeah. You know <laughs> if, how if, if Subway, you doesn't, wanna... Subway doesn't have a mascot. Like no. McDonald's no. has Ronald McDonald. Uh, KFC Subway has, has Garrett. Colonel Sanders. And, and Subway after the after the Garrett pedophile, what's his name? Uh, after they put the pedophile, uh, you know, was in that the his hole. Name? What, what was his name? <sighs> Fucking. What the hell was his name? Jared. Jared. Jared, that's it, not Garrett. Jared. They have Jared, he's their Garrett. mascot. Like, <laughs> is he the subway assassin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. Imagine that. He's no ass longer publicly associate with him, but he, he still does stuff like off the books. An assassin that, like, can't get within 20 feet of children. <laughs> he's like... I need to assassinate you, but you're going to have to come outside the house. I can't go in there. The children are sleeping next door. He's got like an ankle bracelet that beats yeah. wherever he goes. Like a... He's like, silent assassin is just like, beep, beep. It's, like, it's just like a flash. Like you a... see like, you see like the grassy knoll next to your house, like the fucking, the grassy hill. And you just see like a fucking ankle bracelet beeping, flashing red. You hear like the... The soft smell of like uh, meatballs and cheese on the wind, <laughs> and like a, a, a trace amount of lube. He's got like li two little, um, two little like foot long um, loafs, but he's using them as like slippers so he can walk silently. Literal loafers. <laughs> Oh my this god, yes. Yeah. the stupidest bit we've it, ever done. It is, but I was just about to say, we're going to go record Nuclear Throne after this, and after that I'll actually have had a Subway sandwich, so this conti this conversation will most likely continue. So if you want to... I won't wanna, allow it. I won't allow it. If, if you want to watch that video, that'll be out on, I think, Saturday or Sunday. Um, no, we put Jared in the <laughs> hole where he belongs. And we'll probably continue this banner. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Gungeon. I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye. Don't drown.